This video is called Getting Ready for Dimensional Analysis. It's baby step one, which is performing calculations that have multiple numbers in the numerator and denominator of a somewhat complex fraction. So quickly, we're going to review PEMDAS. If you had a linear expression like this, you would perform these operations left to right. So let's pull up a calculator. And we're going to put these in left to right. So we would put in 8 times 3 divided by 6 divided by 4. And what the calculator is going to do is say 8 times 3, which is 24, divided by 6, which is 4, divided by 4, and then we're going to get a value of 1. So each thing is performed left to right. So PEMDAS is the order of operations. That means first we would do parentheses, then we would do any exponents. Multiplication and division are done left to right, and then addition and subtraction the same way. Your calculator does that. It does uh, PEMDAS left to right. The reason we review that is because we're going to do some calculations like this. We know by looking at this that 9 times 2 is 18, and 6 times 3 is 18, and anything divided by itself is just 1. So we know the value of this expression is 1. Now, we're going to try putting this into the calculator, and I call this how to speak calculator because we know it's 1. We have to see if we can get that into the calculator so that the calculator understands that it's 1. Most people want to put 9 times 2, and then they want to say divided by 6, and then the 6 is times 3, so they would do that. Well, remember PEMDAS. Your calculator is going to do PEMDAS, so your calculator is going to do it this way. Let's clear this off the screen. It's going to do 9 times 2 divided by 6 times 3. Now remember, we know the value of this expression to be 1. Your calculator is going to give you 9 here because it did 9 times 2, that's 18. Divided by 6, that's 3. Times 3, that's 9. So we didn't tell the calculator what we had in our problem right here. We need to be able to t speak calculator and tell it, hey, this 3, that's not up on top being multiplied. That's in the denominator, and we're dividing. So instead, we should say, well, here, that's wrong. We should do 9 times 2. We're dividing by 6, but that 3 is also in the denominator. So we are also dividing by 3. And some people think, well, that looks wrong. That's not going to work. Well, let's try it in the calculator and see. Let's drag this over here. Let's clear off the previous stuff. So let's try 9 times 2 divided by 6 divided by 3. And we get 1. So the calculator understands that now um, this 3 is down here in the denominator when we say divided by 3. So yes, this one worked. You could also use parentheses, but that's extra button pushing. That would be 9 times 2 divided by, and then all of this underneath would be 6 times 3. So if we try that in the calculator, let's clear this off the screen, we would have 9 times 2 divided by, and then parentheses, 6 times 3. And we're going to get 1. So we just have to know how to tell the calculator where the numbers are located. Another way we could do this is, remember, the previous uh, step said that this was commutative, so we could do 9 times 2. Maybe we want to divide that by 3 first, and then divide it by 6. It doesn't matter. As long as we say both of these numbers are in the denominator, that's going to work. So let's pull up our calculator, give that one a try. 9 times 2 divided by 3 divided by 6 we still get 1. So as long as we tell the calculator these numbers are in the denominator by either saying divided by and saying divided by or by putting the whole thing in parentheses and saying we're going to divide by this whole thing, we are telling the calculator how to perform these operations correctly. So the main idea of this baby step here is that you can multiply in any order you want to. We could call this 9 times 2 or 2 times 9. Either way, it's going to give us the same number. But if something is down here in the denominator, we have to divide by it. We have to make sure to tell the calculator we are dividing by 6 and we are dividing by 3. Or we have to use order of operations parentheses and say we're doing divided by 6 times 3.